Hi, Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. How are we doing? Uh, before we go any further, yes, I am wearing an Alice band. Um, I am filming this during the um, kind of lockdown and COVID-19 situation of 2020. My hair has got stupidly long. I've had enough of it. So yes, I have thrown in an Alice band. So let's just get that elephant out the room. Okay, so today's video. Uh, what I'm doing today is just a really quick one, which I, again, I think this will be helpful to a lot of people, is I just wanted to show you guys how to open up uh, an Acer Aspire C22760 all-in-one desktop computer. Quite a mouthful, but yeah, this is an Acer Aspire C22-760. It's an all-in-one unit. Um, I've got it lay here flat on the desk and the reason you might want to do this is because you might want to upgrade the hard drive to an SSD hard drive or you might want to upgrade the um, 4 gig of RAM up to 8 gig. Just one thing to note here, if you are looking at upgrading the RAM, the absolute maximum this particular model will take is 8 gig. So don't go crazy and buy yourself you know, a 16 gig or uh, you know, larger than 8 gig. It's not going to work. It has one slot inside um, and it will only take 8 gig. Um, anyway, I digress. So how to open this up. Now, on the face of it, this all-in-one unit, you might look at it and think, well, it looks sealed. This is going to be really tricky. It's really, really easy. It's mega easy. So all you need to do is the stand here, because I've got the lay flat. See this stand here? When you've got it lay like this, there are two screws, one here and one here. Just to pop them two screws out to begin with, and that will mean when you've done that, because I have prepared, this will then come off. So get this out of the way. Then all we need to do is, this panel here is held on by seven screws along the bottom here. Now there's two screws right on the very end of each end here. Ignore them. Ignore the very first ones right in the corner because that isn't fixing this panel in. It's the seven inside them two which you need a smaller screwdriver and you need to take off one two three four five six seven along the bottom there which are roughly evenly spaced once you've taken them screw seven screws out which i've already done and this panel should then start to lift up like so nice and easy and you can see that's now lifting up the only slightly tricky part is the top here is kind of hooked on inside. So I find that if I lift it and just kind of start to prise things up, just gently, just gently, you can see, I don't know if that video caught that, but I did that pop up then, but if you just start pushing this up a bit, can you hear it unclicking and unhooking? And what that'll mean is once you've fiddled with that, and it is a little fiddly, um, but once you've had a play around with that, it will loosen up and sure enough look that then just comes off it's that easy and we're inside the computer then so if you're then upgrading your hard drive that's right here in mine i've already done an ssd upgrade in this but if you wanted to do that there's just a couple of screws here and here to loosen up and take out your hard drive and do whatever you want to do with that if you are upgrading the ram it's under this panel here there's only a single slot there, as I mentioned earlier in the video. To get uh, to get to your RAM, all you've got to do is, I think there's one, two, three, four screws for this silver panel. Undo them four screws. Again, gently lift this up, and the RAM is about here where my finger is. And you can just whack in your, your extra RAM. Do all the screws back up again, and away you go. Put your panel back on, tighten everything up nicely, double check things, and you are good to go. So hopefully that's given you just a little bit of insight into how to open up one of these Acer Aspire all-in-one units. It's not tricky, it's not that hard, um, and away you go. But yeah, don't forget if you are doing the memory, eight gigs your max, all right? So hopefully that's been helpful to you. If it has, please do smash the like button. It really helps grow our channel. Likewise, if you like my Alice Band, please do smash the like button. Um, feel free to comment. I try and get back to everybody if you are commenting on the video, please do subscribe to our channel. We'd really like to grow it further. 
Um, and likewise, use the links below to connect with me on the likes of LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. So that's me, Gavin from Lucid Computer Solutions. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.